In this lesson video, I'm going to continue building upon my application. Now, in the last lesson, we went ahead and entered the code that we needed to place the task itself into the database. Whatever was entered in this edit text would be then entered into the database. In this lesson video, what I want to do is I want to pull all of those tasks out of the database and then populate and use them to populate this list view that we have here. Now, if you remember this list view, is also going to be linked to our custom layout called item layout which I can see here just has two text views. I'm going to use this one to represent the item number, the primary key of our record and then I'm going to use this one to represent the actual task itself. So let me go ahead and switch back over here to the main activity.java file and we're going to need to create ourselves a new method to use for populating the database. Now I'm doing a new method because I'm going to actually call it several times to repopulate the database whenever something happens to the database. It just makes it a little easier to work with rather than putting it all in the onCreate. So let's go ahead and create our new method. Private void populate. We'll call this one list view. And I'll have the opening closing parenthesis and then I'm going to go ahead and have an opening curly brace and hit enter. Now I'm going to start off by adding a cursor that we can use then to navigate through all the records of our database. So I'm going to type in cursor and then I'll just use the word cursor again but lowercase and we're going to go ahead and say it's equal to my DB which is our database object that references the DB adapter class dot get all rows and I'll go ahead and put the semicolon at the end of that and I need to hover over cursor to import this so I'll go ahead and do that and what I'm doing here now is I'm going to use this cursor to get the database and you can see it's going to call the get all rows method if I go over to my DB adapter I can find the get all rows and it's going to be down a little further there it is public cursor get all rows and this is going to go through our database and get every record that's within the database so let's go ahead and go back to our main activity at Java so I've gone ahead and used the cursor to get all of the rows let's go ahead and add another line of code and now I'm going to go ahead and create an array I'm going to actually have to create two different arrays that I need in order to work with the simple cursor adapter the first one is going to be the from field names so I'll create the first one as a string array and I'm going to call this one from field names it's going to equal a new string array and then I'm going to go ahead and have the opening curly brace here and let's go ahead and do db adapter dot key row ID that's our first one and then I'm also going to use the key task so let's do db adapter dot key there it is task and let me go ahead and maximize this so we can see all of our code and I'll go ahead and end that with a curly brace and a semicolon so this array that I just created is going to be used in our cursor adapter so that we can take the data from our cursor and put it in the list view and I need this array to hold all of the row IDs and the key tasks and I'm only using these two because when I look at my item layout, I'm only going to populate the item row number and the actual task itself. I'll switch back over here to the main activity. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And I need to create another array. This one's going to be an int based array. So I'm going to say int, the opening and closing square brackets. And we'll call this one two view IDs. And let's go ahead and have it equal to a new int array and let's go ahead and set the values here with I'll have the opening curly brace and we'll do r dot id dot text view item number and that's the text view I just looked at on my custom layout comma and then also r dot id dot text view item task and we'll go ahead and end that with a closing curly brace and a semicolon so it's going to be taking the data from the row ID and putting it in the item number 
and then this one is going to take it from the task and putting it in the item task text view that I have set up for my layout. Go ahead and hit enter. Now let's go ahead and create our simple cursor adapter object. I'm going to call, I'm going to say simple cursor adapter. Now let's go ahead and call this one my cursor adapter and that with a semicolon and I'm going to need to import that simple cursor adapter into my activity. And I'm going to choose the one here that says just Android widget simple cursor adapter. Now let's go ahead and hit enter. Now let's go ahead and set up this adapter. So I'm going to say my cursor adapter equals new simple cursor adapter and then open up the parentheses and in here we're going to need to put in the base context first. We'll say get base context opening and closing parentheses a comma and then the list view style that I want to use which is my own custom one so I'm going to type in r.layout.item you can see there's item layout comma the next item is the cursor, so I'll just put in cursor, that's the name I gave the object, comma, from field names, those are going to be my field names, and then the next argument is going to be the location they're going to be put into, so that's going to be two view IDs, comma, and then zero at the end. And we'll go ahead and end that with a semicolon, and I'll go ahead and hit enter. And now let's go ahead and grab that list view from our activity so that I could set this adapter to the list view. So I'm going to go ahead and say list view, my list equals list view, and then the find view by ID. That's r.id. And that was called list view tasks. I'll end that with a semicolon. And then let's go ahead and set it by typing in my list dot set adapter. There it is, set adapter. And the adapter is going to be called my cursor adapter go ahead and end that with a semicolon. Okay, that's a lot of stuff in here. But what we did was I have a cursor that went ahead and got all of the rows from the database. These two arrays are going to be used to take the information from the database and to place them in our list view within that cursor adapter that we're going to set up. I created the simple cursor adapter and called it my cursor adapter. And then for my cursor adapter, I set it up to use the layout, the custom layout, the cursor from here, the from fields, which are going to be from the database to the list view items. And then I went ahead and grabbed the list view from my activity and I set it to use my cursor adapter. Okay, if I ended here, my list view would still not be populated because I need to call this method to run in order for that to happen. So I want to place this in two locations. I want my list view to first be populated whenever the activity is created. So if I come in here to the onCreate method, I can go ahead and call it to run. So I'll say populate list view. And I'll go ahead and end that with a semicolon. And so when my activity is created, it will actually run populate list view now. I also want it to repopulate every time a new item is entered into the database so that it shows the results of that item as well. So on the onClick, after a task is entered, I also want it to populate. So I will come after the if statement here and make sure that's for the if statement, which it is. You can see it's highlighted here. And after that if statement, I'm going to go ahead now and call to populate that list view. And I'll end that with a semicolon. Okay, let's go ahead and run our application. I'm going to restore this down. And I'm going to go ahead and right click on the to do list and choose to run it as an Android application and save all of my changes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and unlock the application.
Okay, now as our application is loaded, you can see here I can enter in a task. So let me go ahead and type in the finish TPS reports. And I'll go ahead and hit the plus button to add the task to the database. And as you can see here now, the task has been added down here in the list view which we can't actually see the database physically. We know what happened. The task was entered into the database and then we repopulated this list from the database itself to put it in here. So you can see this is item number one. If I go ahead and backspace this out now, I can go ahead and add another task. Write computer program. I'll go ahead and hit the plus symbol and you can see this new task has now been entered as well. Okay, I understand this application can get a little confusing because of all of the different code and the methods being called and different ones running all over the place. So if you're new to this and you're new to databases, I can understand that this can be a little confusing. I've tried to explain it as well as I can. I would encourage you to read through the text for the lesson because I try to write out and explain exactly what's happening in there and that may give you a better chance of understanding the material for this. In the next lesson we're going to look at actually updating the records that we have already entered into the database in the event that we may need to make a change to it.